And the minute you're okay with being with it, you're released. And you just pop right back. The resistance to it causes suffering. And we can't always hear things in the moment. Sometimes it does take a little while. I'm just now understanding some things some teachers of mine said 15, 20 years ago. One day it's, wow, I know what they were talking about now. As your consciousness expands, you'll go back and read the book and you'll go, I swear that wasn't there the first time I read this book because it couldn't get in yet. There was, you weren't ready to completely let in what it was saying. You go back and you read it again and, oh, I get that now. I get it. Yeah, that is so fabulous. Okay, don't anybody <laughs> compare your experience to Mary's because that is the wildest thing I've ever heard. And it doesn't happen to me either, but that is just so funny. That was actually why it was so hard for me in the last two years, because I just had totally lost that larger self. Yeah. And it, that was my barometer for life, and I had lost Oh, it's it. everybody's barometer for life. Without that, you are without a compass. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, there's our limited little small human mm -hmm. self run by the mind. It's in this little egg, and it thinks all, that's all there is. It has the intellect and facts and things you can see, hear, and taste, and feel to go by, and that's it. That's it. Your large self has the resources of the entire universe at your mm -hmm. disposal, can bring you who and what you need whenever you need it, even if it's only just some comfort in the moment. Okay. When you're And when you're not tapped into that, whew, it's not very easy. It's not a good feeling. And this has just happened in the last two weeks, mind you. In the last two weeks, I have finally, it was like I went, okay, Mary, this is what you need to do to give, to become, because I had gotten into this, I've lost my husband, I've now lost my job, I've now, now what do I do? Is my house and, and my finances going to be next? And, you know, I was kind of like on the edge of freaking out, and... When Amy came over, she took me to lunch one day, and she says... I wanted to pass some energy to her. She goes, oh, oh yeah, you got I'm sure you did. Mary, I'm she sure knew, you did. I was kind of building <laughs> yes. myself up to this meltdown, yes. and she gave me this big old hug. <laughs> and I'm a touchy-feely person, oh, but Amy's not always. <laughs> and so she gave me this big old hug, and I just felt this warm uh -huh. feeling come over uh -huh. me. The very next day, uh -huh. I started... Serious negotiations with the job offer I just accepted this past week. Excellent. Um, and I'm like, okay, now I'm back in my groove. Oh, yeah. But now I'm, Mary got her groove back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mary's cool again. Oh, that is so wonderful. But this this whole what you're teaching, Lola, and and, and what you what you're passing on to us. Is just such a blessing. It's like it's not something I get in my Catholicism. It's it's I go to mass on Sundays still, and I probably always will. But that hour once a week isn't enough, and it never has been for me. Yeah, you know, it's like okay, you go to mass, starts at eleven o'clock, it ends at twelve. You go home and you start your week again, and you forget about it. You know, you know God's there, and you know that somebody's looking out after you. But now I can say this is what's looking out after me, and this is how I do all it. the time. Yeah, I love it. Ah, <sighs> thank you. Mm. Yeah. Mm. You know, I just have to soak that up. <laughs> mm. And y'all, you'll always feel the greatest exhilaration on the up, up grade of the energy stream, and then as you acclimate to it, it'll just feel real normal, no brainer, no big deal. And then you'll have another one, and you'll be like, ah, swooping up a little higher, and then you get used to it, and it's no big deal. 
Now other people around you, like when we gave her the hug, will feel it because it's a new spark for them. They haven't acclimated to you, so they'll feel it. And then they'll get used to it. That's been great. Fabulous. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, you know what often happens, in case you, you're probably figuring this out, what you say draws forth what needs to be said, what I need to say, or you say it, and then I just kind of tie it in, weave it in. So that's the way it works. <laughs> you're right, girl. You don't need any books today. Okay. Yeah, just tell me your experience. Okay, well, first day I came and visited Lola. Um... My mind went blank. <laughs> I'm getting along great with my kids. But I was in Wero's the other night. <laughs> I'm here on your wavelength. <laughs> I was in Wero's the other night and it was really crowded. And I happened to back into this person and we kind of rubbed butts. And the guy said, Excuse me. And I turned around and I said, No, it's fine. I kind of liked it. And <laughs> It was Kyle Chandler from Friday Night Lights, and I said, here, have an awesome all natural. <laughs> and my friend Ava was like, you have got to take it down. You're out of 10. You need to be out of 2. <laughs> but on a more serious note, up until for the last five years, I've been trying to find answers related to my best friend's murder that happened five years ago. And since I started divine openings, I don't care anymore. It's awesome. I love it. I don't care. And she's with me every day. She's with me right now. And I'm trying to get her mother in on all this. Her aunt's in on it, Miriam in Fort Lauderdale. Thanks. She's got the book. She's doing divine openings. And it's been an awesome experience. I just don't care anymore what happened. So, thank you. You are so <laughs> Your large self always knows that everything's going to be all right. And that's why often one of the most common things I hear is people say this feeling like you experience of everything's going to be all right just descends. Your large self doesn't go away, but we do. We wander off. We use our free will to wander off. The mind lures us off down a rabbit trail. No wonder. <laughs> Yesterday was like it was, and I couldn't sleep last night. Everybody in this room is at such a level, and it's just going to go higher. And what this course will do is give you some things to help manage your smaller self and help you use your free will not to wander off. Yeah. You know, the grace comes in says everything's okay and then the mind says oh let's go off over there get some trouble <laughs> which you know that those are adventures too they got that they'd gotten in a spiral and then the mind keeps spinning it faster and faster it spins a web it spins a spiral I heard this down each other heard this. you lose a husband then you lose a job and then you lose your health and then and it's ah and the, the spiral keeps going. It keeps attracting more of that. And then the mind buys in and gets fearful. And then that makes it speed up. That's what the mind does. It tells us scary stories. I always tell people, would you tell a child that story? <laughs> would you, before your child goes to bed, would you go in there and go, now these scary boogies, <laughs> boogaboos are going to come in here in the night. They're going to get you out. You're going to lose the place you live. And, you know, but we tell us that we let our small selves tell us these stories. And stop that! <laughs>